Today we've got an 03 Dodge Caravan. The complaint is the driver's window isn't working. Now you know oftentimes people will come in with that complaint saying the window's not working. You go out to check it and it works every time. It goes up and down. Now do we just throw a motor at it because it said it wasn't working? Or are we going to test it and find out what the problem is? Now the window motor is just an electric motor. You've seen our videos before on how we test a fuel pump for a bad spot or a bad waveform. The window motor is just an electric motor. It can be tested the same way. I'm going to show you how to do that now. Now we're going to be looking at the current ramp, so you have to use a low amp current probe. Now you always turn your current probe on and zero it. Always make sure you zero it. We're at the motor and we actually have the driver's switch and the passenger switch. And the complaint is that the driver's window is not going up and down. But you can see it's working for us now. It seems to be working every time. If you look at the wiring diagram, there's two orange wires. We're going to just go around one of those orange wires with our current probe. And now we can test that switch. Now we're at the driver's side motor and the window's all the way up. And I'm going to hit the switch and pull the window down. You can see the pattern. Now the window's all the way down. I'm going to make the window go back all the way up. Now notice this right here, we're out of limits. Now when you first open the scope, it's going to set up whatever defaults were necessary. But you can see we didn't see all of our pattern. So we're going to go up to traces. I'm going to go to the yellow trace, which I'm on. Instead of 10 amps, remember we're using current here, current probe. I'm going to go down to 20 amps. So set up the scope so it'll display what you want to see. Now I'm at the driver's window and the window glass is up. I'm going to hit the switch to bring it down. Now is that good or is that bad? That's a waveform. That's the driver's side motor. Now the window's down. I'm going to go back up. It disappeared but you can see something down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this trace up get it up here in the middle. Now the window is going down, the window is going up. We still can't see much down here. So I'm going to raise it up a little bit higher. Now I can see a little bit there. Okay, there's the motor going down, there's the motor going up. Now is that good or bad? Now this is the driver motor with the complaint. The passenger side motor has no complaint. That window seems to be working fine. So why can't we just go to the passenger side, move our current ramp over here, our current clamp, and now we can look at this motor and compare the waveforms. We're going to move to the passenger side that had no complaint, so we're assuming that that's going to be a good pattern. So I haven't changed the scope at all. All I've done is go to the wires on the passenger side, and that window is that window is down right now. We're going to raise it. That's the window going up. That's the window going down. Now as I move this switch up and down, I can see changes in that pattern, but there's not enough information there for me to actually make a judgment on this thing. So what I'm going to do is change the sweep. I'm going to make it longer as it goes across here. Right now we're set for 10 milliseconds. Now I'm going to go to 5 seconds. That means it's going to take 5 seconds for this pattern to go. That ought to give me time to exercise that switch back and forth. Now we're at the good window. And we're going up. We'll go down. Up. You can see that pattern. Let's go down to 10 seconds. Change our sweep time. It means it's going to take 10 seconds to go across here. I'm going to wait till it gets all the way back. Power the window. One direction. The other direction. Back and forth. Now that's the good window motor on a 10 second sweep. Now I'm going to move my current probe over to the bad window motor.
you can see quite a bit of difference between those patterns. Now you can see we've got a real bad signal on this motor. Now so you can compare, we're going back to the good motor. Now a situation like this, the driver's door motor has got a problem. We can scope the waveform, but we don't know if it's good or bad. So it's kind of handy having the other motor and the wires right here together, so now you've got a good and a bad comparison. So the lab scope is displaying higher amperage on the bad motor. What makes higher amperage? More resistance. Some, there's so much resistance there, it's demanding more amps to get that motor to work. So now we know when we replace this window motor, we can have confidence that we've gathered the evidence this window motor is bad and needs to be replaced.